What is the difference from the majors to all the different leagues that you have to jump from one to the other? Uh, so I haven't been like officially in the major leagues besides mm-hmm. for like some spring training games. Right. And low A and high A. I actually never played high A, but from what I've heard, high A and low A are very similar. So low A is just all about can you hit a fastball? Uh, a lot of guys will throw like 96 to 99. Um, and it's kind of crazy. It's like, why is everybody throwing so hard, you know, at the, at the lowest level um, in professional baseball? But you learn that, okay, pitchers are learning how to throw more pitches, and hitters just got to be able to hit a fastball. Um, then in double A, you start learning, and guys have more commands. And so now it's like, hey, he's working me in and out. But they still don't have like two or three off speed pitches, more like just a, a fastball curveball, fastball slider. Uh, maybe like a really good fastball and a changeup. So you're kind of like everybody's kind of a, a two pitch mix, and so pitchers are learning, you know, that third or fourth pitch, where hitters are just learning how to control the zone, um, you know, be on top for a heater, but still be able to adjust and hit a, a curveball or break or a slider changeup, whatever they want to call it. And then you get to triple A, it's like never the show. Hopefully, hopefully soon, but not yet. Um, but everybody who has been in the show and has been back and forth between the show and triple A say it's the exact same except the pressure in the big leagues is way different, obviously. Um, every win is, like, worth a million dollars in the big leagues. And so I, they say the pressure is different, but the pitching, uh, the hitters, like, it's all just about pretty much the same. Obviously, I'm not going to – there's no there's no DeGroms in AAA. Mm. But there's a handful of guys that are in, in AAA in the big leagues that come up and down so often that um, they say you, you get a lot of big league experience playing in AAA without playing, you know – in the big stadiums, the big crowds, you know, and the and the big the big time the big time pressure. And Listen, all that you're from Texas. I I was just at my first bull riding rodeo. Okay, if baseball doesn't work out, my friend, I think your body is perfect for be a rodeo. You know, rodeo guy. So why don't you you know if it doesn't work out in the big leagues, you know, you, you jump right on a bull. I might, I might be a rodeo clown before I get on a bull. Right, well, listen, I'm the biggest clown. So if you want me to dance around one of those 5,000 ton crazy animals after they throw somebody off their back, it wouldn't be me. I'd be hiding behind some or jumping in one of those metal cans or something like that. Now, Dallas already has its rodeo clown. His name is Kyrie Irving. That's true, too. I mean, seriously, I, I mean, that's a clown by itself. I mean, he likes to, uh, you know, do tricks with a basketball. I mean, could he do any other tricks? How about hang out on a bus, you know, when he shouldn't be? <laughs> That's a trick. I mean, now you see me, now you don't. <laughs> yes, that was the exact, exact summary of the 2021 Brooklyn Nets. Oh, man, don't we love Kyrie Irving? He's so, spe- he's so special. Anyways, we are talking to Texas Rangers AAA second baseman Jack Spiggers. So I want to ask you about some of the young players that had an impact on the World Series team, too. Evan Carter obviously was a top prospect, then Jonah Heim and Josh Young, who should have been a rookie of the year finalist. I don't know what he was. Was, but all huge impacts for the Rangers this season. What were they like as uh, when you were teammates with them in the minor leagues? Yeah, so uh, so when Josh first got drafted, uh, young, he came to Low A Hickory, which is in like small city North Carolina, um, where I had where I had been for a couple months prior to the draft. Um, and he's a very like he works hard. Um, he, he's good. Obviously, he's a good player, but the way he works every day can kind of be like maybe a little, a little exhausting, mm-hmm. but he never gets tired and he works really hard and he, um, he's learned definitely quality over quantity in the past. And so I think that's brought him to a whole nother level. He's already a, a great um, athlete when it comes to bat the ball skills, you know, making a good throw, diving plays, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so he, playing with him and watching him hit balls like to right center. And now he goes full side air, uh, like home run wise has been crazy to see his development grow. I uh, never played with Jonah besides in spring training. Uh, obviously, he's a freak of nature with, with his body and um, his bat ball skills as well. But Ev- Evan was crazy this year. I played with him probably for maybe 75% of the season. Wow. Um, and then, you know, you, you blink, and all of a sudden he's in the World Series, and you're like, this dude's 20. Can't even, you know, can't even have a Coors Light yet legally. And he's making his name – Go global all across of uh, baseball, all all across baseball fans, mm. all, all within two months. Just snap of the fingers, and Evan Carter was already a huge success. And it, it was cool to see. Yeah, it's cool to see. It's cool to see when I I see my name. It's usually not on the screen, not on a Megatron. It's just uh, here, right on the screen, right here. It, it's nice. It's about twenty inches. It, it's good enough. 